In the Zan Kurichua, Zamra Indian Bus. In this video, let us continue module number 10, part 3 of NFPA 101 Life Safety Code. In this uh, particular uh, video, we will uh, discuss stairs, lobby, and door wheel. This is uh, sub topic number 3. Again, uh, let us start with the objective of NPA, NPA 101 code, which is to address specific requirements to minimize danger to life from fire, which uh, includes the byproducts, smoke, heat, and toxic gases. It also provides mission continuity and property protection and both new construction and existing buildings. So again, part three, there are three major parts. Uh, we are currently on module number 10. And under that module, we are on the third one, pertaining to stair, corridors, and doors with. Okay, let us uh, discuss door and corridor width. Compute for corridor width and door width via capacity factors. So how? So we have a formula width is equal to uh, occupant load times uh, capacity factors. So what do you mean by capacity factors? So let us uh, look at this uh, table, which is a table for capacity factors. This in chapter 7 of the code in PA 101 under uh, the uh, table number 7.3.3.1. Again, capacity factors for different uh, occupancy, burden care, health care, sprinkler, health care, non sprinkler, high hazard contents, HHC, and uh, all the others. Okay, so because there are uh, plentiful of application under all of the other zone, we can maybe memorize those uh, with staircase and uh, corridor. Okay. So stairways with per person. All others seven point six mm. 7.6 mm per person. That is capacity factor. That is not the width of a person. <laughs> okay. And uh, for uh, width per person under uh, level components and ramps. So stairways is uh, not level component. That is inclined. So level components meaning uh, corridors and uh, ramps per uh, person with the person that is pipe. Mm. So 5 mm. So meaning to say the requirement for a stairway is uh, wider rather than the level components, corridors, something like that. So the uh, capacity factor is bigger. We are talking of stairways. What about uh, the University or a tertiary education that is assembly, so that is under all others. So capacity factor is 7.6 and 5. What about uh, apartments? What about apartments? That is also all the others, and therefore 7.6 and 5 uh, for stairways and level components, respectively. What is the lesson? A mall application. So there are no mall application there, so all of the others, so the same 7.6 and 5 mm. So there are only one, two, three, four. Four different cases wherein specifically there are uh, capacity factors. For example, the high hazard content as the most with per person equal, equal to 18. 
okay and uh, that also has the requirement for level components of 10 mm okay but the next one is healthcare non sprinkler so there's no sprinkler sprinkler system so 15 mm and uh, for the level 13 the next one is board and care board and care 10 mm for stairways and 5 mm for uh, level components while health care sprint cleared sprinkler health care that is the same for all others i don't know why it is uh, categorized separately while it is all the others okay the same as all the other 7.6 mm and 5 mm which is the lowest so you can only imagine high hazard health care non sprinkler important care okay one two three on the priority list on the uh, priority list and uh, all the others and the same have the same uh, with per person uh, this is seven per six for staircase and five for uh, level component so if that is the uh, capacity factor multiplied by overload uh, occupant load that is equal to the width of corridor and or stairways okay and uh, door and corridor width the required capacity of a corridor shall be the occupant load that utilizes the corridor porting seat access divided by the required number of the seats to which the corridor connects okay how many seats that the corridor connects okay we have to divide that but the corridor capacity shall not be less than the capacity of exit to which the corridor leads okay so the capacity of the corridor shall not be less than the capacity of exit so we have the capacity for exit and therefore we have to to uh, design the corridor width okay so in this case for example we have exit capacity of 220 for each of the exit so therefore the uh, uh, in this figure, this uh, illustration, we have floor occupant load 660. So there are three in seats, so therefore 220 each. Okay. So it is uh, only divided by the number of seats. So what happened? The, over, uh, the occupant load that utilizes the corridor that is uh, 660. Okay is the floor occupant divided by the required number of seats, which is three. So it's a resistance divided by three. Okay. That is the uh, supposed uh, required capacity of the corridor. That is the required capacity of the corridor, 420. Okay. It's equal to the capacity of the exit. In no instant that uh, the capacity of the corridor be less than the capacity of exit to which this corridor leads so that is the condition okay <clears throat> stair width what about uh, new stairs we have uh, minimum new stair width the tray paragraph where the total occupant load of all stories serve by the stair is fewer than 50 occupant load we are talking about occupant load so if uh, the stair is uh, serving 50 occupant load the minimum width clear of all obstruction except projection not more than uh, 114 mm or uh, below handrail height on its uh, side shall be 915 mm so handrail 
height on its side uh, 915 so almost uh, 1 meter so 915 again okay. minimum width clear of all obstruction Except projection at more than 114 mm at or below 100 height on each side. So obstruction at more than 115 mm at or below the handrail height. Okay. So lower than handrail height up to the handrail height. Okay. So, and B, 915 mm. So, projection must not be more than 915 mm. Okay. So, on the table, we have what? Feature and dimension criteria. So, we are using mm. Minimum width, maximum height of risers, 180. Minimum height of risers, okay. So we have a design in uh, engineering, civil engineering of risers, okay? Height of risers, okay? So here we have given minimum and maximum height of risers. Okay? So this is uh, 100 to 180 mm. Okay. So 180 mm uh, like this, okay? So, oh, maximum height. This maximum height for new stairs, okay? okay. These new stairs are, serve, are serving the what? Exit uh, stairwell, no? So this, this is... Uh, Exit passage, okay. So this is a uh, means of address. So it is not the same on other type of stairs. So 100 to 180. Minimum thread depth. Minimum thread depth 280. Minimum, that is minimum. Minimum headroom. Headroom is the height, so that is. 2030 mm. So 2030 mm and maximum height. Maximum height is uh, 3,660. Okay. So minimum headroom 2030 and maximum height uh, between landings. Okay. Maximum height between landings. So there must be landings, okay? Landing. You have to see the dimension on chapter seven of uh, seven point two point one point three, seven point two point one point four point three point one, and seven point two point two point three point two about landings. So maximum height between landings is. 3.66 meters. Okay. So usually 3.66 meters is uh, going to have about uh, 11, 11 to 12 uh, steps or rises. So, so 12 or would be 13. Okay, 13. So if uh, we are looking at, uh, for example, 13, so that is only the landing will only fall about, the landing will only fall about. Uh, 2,000, no? 
Oh, two thousand. Okay, oh, two thousand. Something, two thousand one hundred, something like that. Oh, two thousand one hundred. The height of the land. But the maximum height must be 3,660. Okay, uh, we can memorize that. Uh, riser 180 with the depth uh, 280. Okay, thread depth is 280. And headroom 1,030. Equivalent to 6, 8 height. Oh, there are very few people with that height. So, yeah, but the next one, existing. So, that is letter A, no, stairs. This one is existing. So, we have what? Minimum width, clear of all obstruction, and within width. This is width, no? Minimum. Except projection at more than. 114 at or below 100 height on each side. Okay, so there is an exemption as a uh, uh, written on this uh, paragraph B. Where stairs have occupant load exceeding that permitted by paragraph A, the minimum width clear of all obstruction except projection projections not more than uh, 114 mm at or below 100 light on each side shall be in accordance with uh, table and the requirements of something okay so maximum height of risers 200 so now Existing is 205. Now, so this is this value is about, about the uh, existing. No? That's why seven inches is the, uh, the new requirement. Minimum thread depth is 230. Uh, the new one is uh, 280 and minimum headroom is the same maximum height between landings the same uh, there is only difference between height of risers okay height of risers are different minimum width clear of all obstruction or stair no Set projections. So those projections uh, within the height of 114 mm on each side is not is not uh, included. That is uh, an exemption. Okay. So, so 180 and the existing is 205. Depth 230 and the new one is 280. 280, 100 to 180 with the risers. Okay. So, intro 2030 and maximum height 3660. Almost uh, the same. No? There are changes, okay, of course. Again, we have stair width, new stair width, total cumulative occupant. Uh, load assigned to the stairs, less than 2,000 persons. 1,120 mm. More than 2,000 persons, 1,420. So, for new stair width. A paragraph C, the total cumulative occupant load assigned to a particular stair shall be that the stairs prorated share of the total occupant load as stipulated. Paragraph D and paragraph D calculated in proportion to the stair width. 
So we have what? New steroid. Uh, the the uh, threshold is 2,000. So for less than 2,000, the weight is 1,120. For greater than or equal to 2,000 person, we have 1,420 mm weight. Matter of 300. So 300 is one foot difference. About one foot difference. Okay. So one four, one point four and one point one meters. Okay. Thousand. So next. Uh, oh, that is the last slide. And uh, therefore, it is very important to familiarize or even memorize those uh, important uh, quantities or the values which are very important to the goal. Again, this is Dr. Ripi, Preaching Engineering Foundation.